What's going on everyone? Our next black history profile is Elizabeth Coleman, aka Bessie Coleman. She was born in 1892, Atlanta, Texas, and was a pioneer and innovator in the field of aviation, both as an African American and as a woman. Now when Bessie turned 18, using her savings, she enrolled in Oklahoma Colored Agricultural and Normal University, now called Langston University. She was only able to spend about one term before having to return home because of money. About five years later, Bessie moved to Chicago to live with one of her brothers. Now working at the White Sox Barber Shop in South Chicago, she became entranced with the tales of returning World War I pilots, including her brother John. Becoming fascinated with flying by stories told, she decided to pursue her interests. Unfortunately, she was not allowed to enroll in any schools because she was black and a woman. She had a chance to discuss her dilemma with Robert Abbott, the founder and publisher of Chicago Defender newspaper, and he encouraged her to go to Europe to seek training. Along with the banker named Jesse Binga, founder of the Binga State Bank and Chicago Defender, helped to sponsor her endeavors. Now, Coleman ended up in Paris, France in about 1920, having studied French at the Bellet School in Chicago. She enrolled in a 10-month course, completing it in only seven months. On June 15, 1921, Coleman became not only the first black American woman to earn an international aviation license, but also the first black American to earn an aviation pilot's license. She earned a pilot's license before Amelia Earhart. Now, Bessie returned to the United States in about September 1921, arriving in New York, where she became a media hit sensation. Bessie Coleman's life was sadly cut short and died about 34, but her impact has been immense, not only upon women interested in aviation, but upon the entire aviation industry. Her courage in chasing her dream and breaking down barriers in her way have made her a great black heroine to generations for children around the world. I want to thank you guys for watching this short, and I want to just encourage you guys definitely to read more about her, and definitely check us out for our Black History event on February 26th at the Area 4 Youth Center.